Hey, Arnabies. Okay, so it's going to be a bit loud because I George brought me a fan. He brought me a couple of fans so that I can have them in here because that AC was just not working. So this is what the shop looks like now. This has not changed. I switched this around a little bit, but uh, I've got the freezer over here now, so it's accessible for everybody. This is all changed. So, yeah, so I moved my desk and everything here. And then I've got the shelf in here now. Got another fan. Yay! Um, so this is going to have mostly crystals on it, but for now I have some yarn here. And then this, oh, I'm so proud of this. Terry and I, me. <laughs> yeah, we did a good job, I think. So you go in here. I'm going to move that sign and I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to have beaded curtains here when they come. Um, so that's the bargain bin wall. And then I've got my crow curtain up there to hide the um, hallway down there. And look! Isn't this quaint? Ah! Oh, I'm just so happy with this. <laughs> and I've got my little yarn ball thingies up there. This is all the wool. This is the um, what do you call it? Uh, baby yarns. And I got my hanging stuff here. I'm going to get a table to put in here and then I'm going to move this over. So yeah. So then I've got all my um, all my eyes and everything up here. My sock yarn up here. And then I've got all of my cakes down here. And then all my acrylics all along here. So, yeah. And then Terry makes oops, these. Oh, he's turning around. Oh, there he is. Big blue. And it's got lights inside. And then there's this one. Oh, this one's turned around too. Come on, turn around. There we go. She's got eyelashes. And it's got the lights in there. So, I, I hung those there. But yeah, I'm really liking how this is looking. It's, for me, it, it feels more, I don't know, it's more cozy, right? And so, yeah. Ugh. And then my, you know what? As soon as I move things around and I put my earrings in the window there, and I got my bracelets down there. I had people starting to come in, like, all instant. It was unbelievable. So, yeah. And now, if, when people look in here, now they can see the yarn. So they know that I'm an actual part yarn shop. And, uh, yeah, and then I've got the crystals over here. This is the soap that my niece's friend, Brittany, brought in. Isn't that cool? Like, look at that. Is that not awesome? And then I got my pendulums in. So happy. And then look at this. Watch this. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw that. I've got magnetic lights up here. So that if... Don't tell me they have to be charged. <laughs> when somebody walks in, walks around here, that they'll turn on. I guess I have to uh, charge this one. The charge doesn't stay very long on these, that's for sure. <clears throat> so, yeah. So I'm pretty happy with the way this is looking. So, yay! Yay me! <sighs> Hi! <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you guys remember, but ooh, got hair issues today. Um, I had a Yarnaby, wonderful woman. Um, her daughter had come in last, no, nope, it was a few months ago. She came in and told me that her mom had passed away. Um, she brought her kids in and we met and got a picture taken and everything and, oh, my heart. <clears throat> um, they came in today. 
I was shocked. <laughs> I was just like, oh. <laughs> so, the girls, um, the last time they came to my shop, I, do you guys remember the uni pig unicorn thing that I made? It was my first amigurumi. It had eyelashes. Um, she was kind of like my little mascot. So, <clears throat> Uh, I had her sitting in the shop and the girls thought that she was for sale. So, and I didn't have a sign on her or anything saying that she wasn't. <clears throat> the girls fell in love with this thing I did. So I gave it to them because I wanted it to go to someone who would appreciate what I accomplished with that. So they lovingly called her Penelope. <laughs> well, the girls came in and they brought me a gift, right? Um, so it's Elizabeth, Emily, and Margaret. And they gave me a card. Isn't that a beautiful card? Um, and it said, thank you so much for Penelope. She is living her best life with us. <laughs> is that thank you so much we appreciate your generosity giving Penelope to us um, that alone just made me feel so good but the girls decided that they were going to give me a little um, gift that is a reminder of Penelope because they knew how much she meant to me so they brought me a picture <laughs> Look at the frame. Oh my gosh, the frame is gorgeous. But that is Penelope. Isn't she cute? They took her out in the garden and they took a picture of her for me. So now I always have her with me. So <laughs> I cried. Oh my goodness, I cried. So I'm sure that they're going to be watching this. So thank you so, so much, you guys. I, I appreciate it so much. And, um, I'm, ha I'm going to have her up with my shrine up here of all my crows and I'm going to put her right in the middle so she's always protected um, and uh, I'll be able to look at her every day and think of you guys. Okay, I'm going to cry again so I'm going to go. <laughs> See you later. Good morning. Ah, okay, hold on. Let's try that again. You're up a little high but it's going to have to do for now. Good morning, Yarn and Bees. How are you today? Uh, it is Sunday. It is Sunday. I think it's Sunday. Uh, I am, it is 6.20 in the morning. I am on my way to the ferry to go and see my daughter and my grandson. <coughs> uh, I had kind of a weird evening last night. <laughs> My brain was so all over the place. I started making the MJ off the hook dress. It starts with the sleeves. But then I started, I, I squirreled like way hard. Um, cause I, usually I have two tabs up on my computer. One is with the tutorial of the pattern or whatever, or the pattern or something and then the other one is to watch YouTube channels right while I'm crocheting so I figured okay I've got like X amount of uh, rows of granny stitches that I have to do so I'm just gonna watch a video or whatever and up on my feed comes something completely different it's a <clears throat> um, what was it it was this oh I know what it was Bag O'Day just came out with a Stevie Nicks inspired shawl. And I was like, Ooh. everybody knows I like Stevie Nicks. So, oh God, hang on a minute. That's better. <clears throat> so anyways, anybody that's been around my channel for a while knows that I'm a Fleetwood Mac fan. I'm a Stevie Nicks fanatic. I love Stevie Nicks. Um, and uh, a while back, I believe, 
I made a Stevie Nicks inspired something or other, or I was going to, or something, I can't remember, but anyway, um, so I was looking, I was watching this video, and I was like, oh yeah, that's cool, oh, <coughs> it's definitely not a shawl that you're going to be able to wash, <laughs> but, uh, so then of course I go down the rabbit hole, right, and I found a lady, I found her a long time ago, but she came up on my feed again and she has an Etsy page and she actually made a shawl for Stevie Nicks. And it shows a picture of Stevie on stage wearing this shawl. <clears throat> now, she has all of her shawls for sale for crazy amounts of money. I'm talking two, three, four, five hundred dollars. It's nuts. Um, <clears throat> and frogging <laughs> this cardigan and I was like no I'm just gonna finish the cardigan and then maybe the, after that and I'll do this shawl so anyway but I know like if I put uh, eyelash yarn with it and stuff like that I think it's gonna look really cool <clears throat> so but anyway so that's kind of what I did last night and I went <gasps> oh man I'm tired um I didn't uh, didn't start it. I says no, don't do this. Go to bed. <laughs> so I went to bed, and here we are. But uh, yeah. So I don't exactly know what my plan is for this trip. I know I want to go to Richmond. Richmond is like the hub of the Asian community. Um, in on the mainland. <clears throat> and I want to go there and I want to eat my face off. I want to eat all the Asian food that I can. Um, I miss authentic Asian food. I really do. It's That's the one downfall of living on this island that, you know, you miss all the stuff from back home. <clears throat> so, yeah. So we might be able to make it to the night market, um, which I've never been to. Um, back in the day, in the, day um, the white people weren't even allowed to go to that market. It was an invite only kind of thing. Yeah. <clears throat> now it's open to the public and people can go. They pay to get in and uh, you go and shop and eat and you can try all the different foods and um, I'm just I'm so excited I was supposed to go last time that we went to Vancouver but yeah it didn't happen we were exhausted <laughs> so but uh, this time I'm gonna go and hopefully if I can make it there and uh, I'm just gonna love on my grandson He may be like, GG. <laughs> so, anyway. Okay, I will talk to you guys in a while.
So I'm at the ferry and I got a lavender London fog. Hmm. Had lavender coffee or lavender tea or whatever. Or no, it was a latte. Lavender mm. It's a lavender latte. But I've never had a London, lavender London fog. So that should be interesting. And then I got a breakfast burrito. Because, you know, I have to be extra. Hang on. That's better. I have to be extra. <laughs> so, let's taste this. It's really hot as Hades. Ooh. Mmm. That's actually pretty good. Oh, I like that. Yay. And I got, oh, and it came with hot sauce. It's going to be messy. Having hot sauce first thing in the morning might not be a good idea. But, you know, being diabetic and all that stuff, I guess I better eat. So. Mm. Mm -hmm. Actually not, mm, that's really good. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to go enjoy my breakfast. <sighs> get ready to get on the ferry. Kind of hoping that I'm going to be able to sit on, well, this is a long ferry. Um, all the ferries that were by my house were sold out. So, um, tis the season, you know, but. This, so this is going to be the two and a half hour or whatever ferry. So I'm going to have a long time to crochet. I was kind of hoping I could stay in my vehicle, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. By the way, I had a customer come into the shop yesterday and say something to me that was quite shocking. Um, I wanted to run it by you guys and find out if this is really true. Is Joanne's closing down? I, you know, it made me wonder when they said that they weren't going to ship to Canada anymore. Like, what was going on? Because they just started shipping to Canada not long before that. Um, and now, all of a sudden, I'm hearing that Joanne's is closing down. Like, oh my goodness. I... God, I wish I had my passport. <sighs> then I could have gone down there. Apparently, there's a whole bunch of sales going on or something. Um, like a clearancing out stuff. Is this true? Man, I really wish that I could put an order in and get some stuff shipped up here. Because uh, they're big twist and all that. I would love to get my hands on a bunch of that. Why would Joanne's be closing? Ugh. Is everybody just buying online? Is that what's going on? Like, it's so sad. Like, uh, what about all the people that don't buy online? Really? <clears throat> oh, hey. Normally, I don't use these hooks. They're f the flatter hooks. But you know what? I, because I'm a pencil holder, the thumb grip is right here. I am really, really enjoying these. I never thought in a million years I would have liked them. But I really do. <laughs> I may end up having to bring some in for the shop. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyways, getting back on the joint. Squirrel, like, what's, what's wrong with me? My brain. Ugh, I need these couple of days. I don't even know if these are going to be days off. <clears throat> I'm going to be so busy. But, um, yeah, Joanne's. Wow. That's, uh, that's something else. Pretty sad. So, comment down below and let me know. Is this really happening? Is this true? Because, uh, yeah. I totally... Uh, maybe I could send my daughter down. Uh. <laughs> anyway, let me know.
you today. Today, I have co-host. This is Axel. <laughs> this is my grandson. <laughs> and this is my daughter, Tia. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, I look like crap. I haven't done... I haven't had a shower or anything like that, so deal with it. <laughs> Let's see if I can put you down somewhere. Here. No, maybe not. Okay. We'll just put you up against catch up. There we go. Oh god. You guys should tell me my hair is all over. <laughs> I got like this funky oh like Tia's getting me Tupperware to put my oh ah, there we go. <laughs> okay. So you're blaming me, you're blaming me right here. <laughs> okay, so I'm sitting here having my morning coffee uh, with my couple of my favorite people. Uh, yes. Um, and I just thought I'd have a chat. Uh, yeah, right. So, yesterday, we. <laughs> this kid, I swear. He's, what are you doing? Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> um, so anyway, yesterday we went to Walmart because I wanted to check out the Walmarts here. Because you, oh, sorry. <laughs> because uh, as you know, my Walmart sucks. So I wanted to check out the Walmart here. <laughs> oh yay! <laughs> I can. She's gonna take me to all the Walmarts. <laughs> Um, so I wanted to check them out here to see if they were any better. They're not. <laughs> but, but I did find um, some other colors of the lollipop, which I'll show you in a bit because they're downstairs. And uh, apparently Axel really approved of them, didn't you? Did, did you approve of, of Gigi's yarn? Hey, did you say... Yeah, there's a kid, kid screaming out there, isn't there? <laughs> Somebody's not happy out there. So, um, yeah, so I got a couple of different colors of the lollipop. I yeah, bought. Okay. <laughs> um, I bought three of each uh, of the two colors and. One of the colors I never would have thought that I would like, but for some reason it kind of grabbed me. I don't know. Um, but Axel decided that he was going to take them. <laughs> he was going to love on them. And then he tried to take the middle out of them, <laughs> which would have been disastrous. So, um, but he really liked them. So I have a picture. Yeah. Uh, and... Um, but yeah, so who knows? Maybe maybe I'll make make something out of it for Axel because I did buy the blue. Yeah, I did. Um, I was crocheting that sweater with the other lollipop last night, and I had a disaster. Absolutely, I was too tired or something. I don't know, but one side of it started curving in, and I have to frog it now. And that stuff is. Not as easy to frog as I thought it was because if, no, you can't have that. Because if you don't go in the stitch properly, it will catch up on itself. And, oh, so I decided that's it. I'm having such a hard time. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm having such a hard time with, <laughs> he's mimicking me. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time with it. <laughs> Look at this kid. Say hi. Say, <laughs> there, maybe sort of. Ah, there. Poor little head. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. So apparently, I got a bruise on my leg <laughs> from the move. Um. Yeah. So, anyways, I. I have to frog that whole piece because it's just not working at all, which really bums me out. So I'm going to have to try and make a different 
garment. I have an idea. Hello. <laughs> Are you tickling me? <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to have to think of something else. I'm tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> you can eat, eat your breakfast. Um, Grandma worked real hard on that. <laughs> Just the, oh, no, no, no. Um, yeah, so, I, yeah, I have an idea, but the stitch that I'm using, the drop stitch and everything, it's really hard to see your stitches. I do suggest for beginners, do not use this yarn because it's, unless you're using a really big hook, um, it's hard to see your stitches, but are you making avocado toast or something? Mm -hmm. Is that still a thing? I don't know, but it is for me. Holy cow. <laughs> jiggle, 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 jiggle. <laughs> um, you, you got food for me. <laughs> you got cookie hands. Eat your breakfast. Here, eat your blueberries. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't suggest this yarn for a beginner. Um, unless you're using a big, big hook. So... Man, you can't get through a video. I can't. Look at this kid. I wish you guys were down a little bit. Hold on. Okay, now I'm up too high. <laughs> okay, so we'll just do a video like this. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so that um, that yarn, it's beautiful and I'm sure that it will be beautiful when um, when I actually make something out of it. But for now, I mean what I'm making is just not 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 great because of the drop stitch. Pretty. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what See, else? My hands are working. I'm making friends. I'm just poisoning them. <laughs> Tia bought the wrong bird seed. So they're just flinging it all over the place. Um, I gotta see if I can't find some better bird seed for her today because they're making a hell of a mess out there. So, anyway. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. I, uh, I don't know, like what, what's today, Tuesday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, so tomorrow night I'll be going back home, um, and yeah, I, I'm not sure what we're doing today, oh my good lord, but whatever it is, it's going to be fun, because I'm with you guys, <laughs> George has been phoning me, was phoning me like crazy, because he already, like, I'm not even gone for like an hour and he's phoning me going, how you doing? What you doing? You know, <laughs> it's like, oh God, I can't even leave for a day or two without him being sad that I'm gone. So, <clears throat> but anyway. All right, so I'm going to go and, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> avocado in the hair. Oh, <laughs> He just went and put his hands in avocado and went, he's like, it, he thought it was gel or something. Oh, okay, we're in a mess now. <laughs> uh, it's not hand cream. Um, yeah, okay. Axel, no uh, Yeah, no, I don't think so. He's, no he thinks it's hand cream. Oh. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, then. So, apparently avocado is not your thing. <laughs> <laughs> just oh wow okay so we have a mess to clean up so i gotta go <laughs> and i will talk to you guys later <laughs> yeah hi you're bees okay so i'm on my way home I'm just waiting at the ferry terminal right now and i thought i'd pop on real quick and um show you the yarn because i haven't had a chance to do that yet that I got. Um, <clears throat> when we went to Walmart, I went and I picked up some more lollipop. And this color is, what is this color? Where's the color? 
<laughs> Why doesn't it show the color like green? Oh, oh retro. Look at that. Holy cow. That's crazy bright. It's not quite as bright, but it's, oh, it's so pretty. I don't usually go towards orange. I usually stay away from orange, I'm not a fan. And to put orange and pink together, never really thought about it, but this is really pretty. I've got to admit. And then I picked up the uh, Seaside. So yeah, that's really pretty too. It's kind of blown out. Isn't that nice? So I picked up three of each of those. Because I'm going to make um, sweaters out of that. So yeah, so I frogged that project that I was doing. Yeah, and I'm going to start making something else. Um, I saw an MJ off the hook raglan style, but it's granny square and I'm trying, I want to do something other than granny square. God, my hair's all over the place. Oh, speaking of my hair, me and Tia, we went out for dinner, sushi dinner last night and I went into the restaurant and it was uh, um, all you can eat. So they came and they brought us our little ticket thing that we fill out. The lady says, okay, so one adult, one senior, one child. I was like, oh, here we go again. Twice in one month. <laughs> Tia's eyes were like, I was like, yes. I just said yes, because I figured, okay, I get $3 off my dinner, whatever. <laughs> so we go to pay and she made me pay full price. So she called me a senior to begin with and then she didn't even give me the discount. So yeah, throat punching people. <laughs> like I'm just, I'm going seriously. Oh, anyway, oh well. So my grandson was an absolute joy. Um, when I was leaving, he came running up to me and he grabbed me around the legs and he gave me a big hug, a real tough hug. And he's like, up. So I picked him up and he kissed me on the cheek. Oh, you guys, I'm telling you, my heart. Tia started bawling her eyes out. I was just like, oh, <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> oh, but, you know, I got to get back. And her dog, which is like a bull mastiff something, something that I don't even know what, what kind. No, an American bull, bully, I don't know. It's a big, big dog. Slept with me last night and uh, took up the whole bed, pushed me out of bed. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. But yeah, so we had a really good time. Um, I'm hoping to get back there soon. And uh, yeah. So, so I guess that's it for me, you guys. Um, I will be back at work tomorrow. Oh, and yeah, George is missing me big time. So yeah, I gotta get back home to him. You know, man child. <laughs> I'm sure Bailey's missing me too. So anyway, all right, excuse me. Okay, so I will talk to you guys later. Oh, and Angela from My Precious Darnery called me out. <laughs> She's pointing fingers at me. Because I had mentioned in my last video that um, I got the blossom cake that she would really like. So she had to go and get it. <laughs> she might actually like this one too. The orange and pink one. So, another trip. <laughs> but anyway. Okay guys, I'm going to go. I love you all and I'll talk to you later.